What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Mario 3D World. In the last part, we finished World 1. And in this part, we're going to get a stamp right off the bat in World 2. These are stamp houses that give you stamps. I'm going to get out of there. We're saving, and I'm um, basically, uh, there's 2-1, and actually, um, hold on. I think if I remember correctly from my experience playing this game, yeah, there's a 1-up if you follow this path. I think I could be wrong, but I think the 1-up also respawns every time you go to this world, so yay. More 1-up farming. Hold on. So we're at 2-1. 2-1. And that's gonna introduce some new enemies. Now these things are basically like, um, these things will will try to poke you with their beaks. And there's another stage off as a cat suit. Get used to seeing the cat suit. We're gonna see it a lot in this game. You can also claw these enemies with your cat suit and uh, not take damage at the same time. And I need the cat suit to get up there. I want to get up there, but I need the cat suit, so. I'm gonna go back so I can get back up there. There's a nice there's a nice little treat if you have a cat suit. It's not like a green star or anything, but it's a nice little treat. Just make sure you don't fall in the pit. It literally says, like, this area's death. But we get a shitload of coins. We already got a 1-up. This also tests your cat jumping skills, and, uh, yeah, we got, like, three lives that way. Anyway... And this is around the point. Don't worry. Don't worry if you made it up to this point because uh, you're actually just about to get the first. Uh, I think with this stage, you're just about to get the first uh, green star because it is up here. It is not up there. My memory's incorrect. I think the first, uh, I think the first one is actually pretty late in this level. My memory is correct. It's not the first, it's not late in the level, so we have, we have to do the wise thing of going back. Because you can backtrack, keep in mind there's also time limits, so just be a little wary on that. I'm trying to remember that what thing was. I think it's back. It's not back there. So um, it might be legit lost. So we went through this area. So. Wait, I see the problem. It's because I lost the cat suit earlier in the level, but um yeah, it's around here somewhere. It's actually not up there, but it's another it's it's up another wall and I already lost the cat suit, so um it's far the way back in the beginning of the level, but um We're actually almost about we're about we're almost about to run out of time also, so like we're gonna have to run run this really sharp. It's, I got I got thrown off because I lost the cat suit. That's basically why. Now we're just gonna. This also is a randomizer, and we get a fire flower. I'd I'd rather the cat suit. The cat suit's cooler than a fire flower that has been used in a bajillion other Mario games, where, like, the cat suit's been used in zero other Mario games. It was used in the Mario movie, though. We're almost out of time. Right, we're gonna make this. We have 94 seconds left. Plus, we're almost at the flagpole.
That's a top flagpole, yes! Anyway, so this is actually the uh, Nintendo Network feature now, as opposed to Miiverse features. Um, boy, do I miss Miiverse. This was basically how you could view posts about other people's... Um, this was basically how you could uh, view other people's posts about um, back in the day about um, certain levels. You can't anymore because Nintendo shut down Miiverse years ago. What can we do first? Okay, it's 2-2 two, two right here. Hey, I get to talk in the gamepad, and it'll actually work. <laughs> we do have to touch this uh, right here. We want to go down here. Get that stamp. I think those Goombas are basically the same types of Goombas in Mario World. I don't think they are Goombas, but like, um... I forget what they were called in Mario World. You know, it's hard to do this in the middle of a recording session when you're trying to commentate, but, uh... You have to tap the screen. Because Nintendo decided to make an iPad a controller. I don't know. I don't, like, think the game... I think the gamepad was a decent concept that was executed poorly, but, like, I don't know. It's like... It's like a... It's like... It wasn't... It wasn't... It wasn't like the... I don't think it was the worst concept in the world, so, like... See, like, I'm in the camp where, like, the Wii U ma was mainly killed by its marketing, and, like, um, Nintendo, nobody really knew how to market the console. It was also those cringy ads towards children didn't help, but, like, um, yeah, I'd say the Wii U was pretty much, like, it, it had, like, decent ideas, it basically, I see, probably, plus, like, it had this whole eShop that, like, you could play a lot of Friggin' old school games on. I'd say like the is like because like the Wii. I'd, I'd I'd arguably say the Wii U's eShop was much better than the the Switches currently is because like Switch Online, let's just say, doesn't really port like games that are on the original that are on the Wii U eShop. Like Nintendo now discontinued the uh, eShop on the Wii U, so um yeah, that is unfortunate. Hey. Anyway, so, um... Anyway, so, um, basically, um... In reference, like, it was kind of nice to go from, like, a, a new Mario game, like, 3D World, to, like, um... To go from, like, a new Wii U game to, like, playing, like, Mario 64 the same session. I gotta talk in this thing so, like, it can, like, activate. Because I just did very recording session that talking helps. Oh, yeah. And that's going to lead to a pipe, and uh, it's going to lead to another stage. It's going to lead to a toad house. Yeah, you always want to check these pipes. Because there's a, there can always be something in a 100% run that you can just flat out miss. Hey. Anyway, so we're going to, um, we're going to now go to, uh, 2-3, which is an interesting concept for a level. This 
interesting ideas, I, in my opinion. Like, um... Because, like, um... I don't know, it's like... I feel like this game often gets a little underappreciated because it is a Wii U game, and, like, people often see, like, oh, Wii U game, so it's like, um... I don't know, it's like... I don't think the Wii U has been, like, fully turned around upon, like, the GameCube has, so basically, because, like, uh, when people think of the Wii U, it's mainly, like, Nintendo's worst selling console, but, like, that's basically what people thought of the GameCube up until the Wii U, but, like, I don't know. I don't know. I Switch, too, because, like... Switch 2, like, has potential, but I just think it needs backwards compatibility with the shirt form. Because, like, one strong point the Wii U had was that it was backwards compatible with the Wii U games, and they upscaled them. So, like, I used to play, like, um, Wii games. I would I would actually play Wii games, like, on the Wii U rather than the, the Wii I had at the time because it would look nicer. It's, uh... There's nothing there. <laughs> I want to see if this works. I want to see if this works. Yeah! Oh my god, this works too! <laughs> I never knew that talking counts as... I guess you're releasing air when you're uh, talking, so like, um... So I guess that's how it works. Like, your voice is still like... Uh, basically, like, your diaphragm basically controls your voice, and like, that is part of... That is, uh... It's part of the stomach, but like... It is like, um, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. You can either, basically what I'm trying to say is you can speak from the diaphragm, which also lets out air, or you can speak from, like, the chest, which also lets out air, but, like, um, I know, it's mainly a thing for, like, vo voice acting or singing, stuff like that. Thank God I still topped that flagpole. And another slot game. Let's see if we can get 777 coins this time. Let's see. We can do this. Alright, so it's, uh... Alright, boomerang again. Alright, here we go. Shit. Well, we have to set up the three one-ups. So, this is what I wanted to keep using Mario for. This is this stage, if you want to get the stamp, you need to select Mario. Now, I just want to check. I think there's a uh, stamp right here. Yeah, there is. There's a nice little stamp, and there's also a cat thing. To get that uh, first star, the green star. I'm almost calling them star coins, because of the new Super Mario games. And even Super Mario 3D Land, they're star coins. And, yeah. I guess Super Mario 3D Land also hands coins like candy, because when, like, when you have when you get a power-up you already have in your inventory in Super Mario 3D Land, like, um, you already have that power-up, they hand you 10 coins. You're down here. Make sure you have that first star point here because there's no backtracking. Anyway, so, um, I think we have to go in that, uh, I think it's this right here. And no, that's coins. It's always nice to get coins, though. They lead to one ups. And the second one, the second coin and the third coin, I love this music, by the way. It's a little techno. Yeah, 
You know, there's Blue Monday by New Order, and then there's the Techno Music in Super Mario 3D World. I don't know. I'm not saying this is better than New Order. New Order is a fucking amazing band. I promise you won't die if you fly off that, but that's where the third uh, green star is. Now we got a top of flight club. We can actually change characters out there. So I think there's, there's a couple more stages left in this world. I'm not exactly sure how many parts this is going to take. Earthbound took like 32 parts and I made the parts longer. But like, this is going to be a shorter playthrough for sure. Because like... Even though this game came out 20 years after Earthbound, it's way less complex. Actually, there's two- there's three more levels after this, so, um... Four more, actually. Must be on the right course star screen to change characters. Yeah, we already know this. But anyway, so, let's give our boy Luigi a shot! I can't believe I'm saying that. Because... Even though Luigi has a lot of fans, I'm not really a Luigi fan. <laughs> Blame too many Mario Party rounds I've lost because of him, but yeah, like, just for some reason I just never really liked Luigi much. Just blame way too many rounds of Mario Party I've lost with him as the CPU, and you'll basically see why. Yeah. So this is basically one of those, um, Green Star, um... This is basically one of those green star um, areas. Uh, basically, uh, you just it just tests your skill to get the green stars. There's gonna be some more of those. Some of the later ones are gonna be a pain in the ass, also. But this one has only five green stars. We got all five of them. And it's gonna save, and uh, we have to fight another one of these. This one's gonna be a big Goomba. Big Galoomba. Galoombas are these names. I don't even know if they're called that in Mario World. <laughs> I know they're the same types of Goombas in Mar from Mario World. This game take this game say does a better job at throwbacks than like any of the new Mar than most of the new Mario Bros. game because like um they're unexpected throwbacks because like um. New Super Mario Bros. series, like, the whole brand is it's a throwback, but, like, um, they could, this game, they kind of hide throwbacks in here and there. Anyway, so, one last stage to go, and, uh, ooh, there is one reason I am selecting Toad for this level. Double Cherry Pass. Now these are the cherries. When you get the cherries, you get cloned. So, uh, listen to what Toad says when he collects the cherries. That's kind of cute when Toad just said multiply every time he collects a cherry. Now, when one of the clones get hit, basically you lose the clone. But you get to continue. It doesn't count as an actual hit, it just counts as a hit for the clone. Basically, you're also going to want to have a set amount of clones in this level. We have three toads. They're all saying multiply. These are also a uh, flower enough. Now, if you're a little lost with the toad, just make sure just run up to a wall to get them on in sync. So we throw all three of them with each other, and then all three of them will ambush the, these guys. You guys make sure you have at least two of these to get these uh switches. To get the star to get the green star. I think there's uh, another one in here. Yeah! Mm -hmm. ah, I love that so much. Each character has their own dialogue, it's like toads the most. We get these toads in sync with each other. We have five fire toads. 
Now we gotta get one of these toads up on a platform and uh so we can get the stamp. Yeah. Now let's get one of these toads through a platform and they're all gonna go through a platform. Make sure you get, go to the end of these at least four of these toad clothes. And there's also um no, there's not one in there. Oh yeah. Now the key is we're we gonna top the flagpole with Toad. Let's just get a nice running start. Oh yeah. So this is the last, um, this is the last stage in World 2. The last stage is, uh, World, um, World 2-4, uh, and, uh, let's get out, let's get out Peach, because we're gonna need her for later. I love this music, by the way. Like, this music is A+. -plus. There's also a uh, Firefly right now. Make sure you, um, I think there's also going to be, um, another type of power-up, a new power-up. I might be thinking of another stage, but, um... Oh yeah, these are it. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, cannon. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, cannonball blasters. Make sure you have one of these toward the end of the level. They basically can shoot cannons and, um... They can shoot cannons and basically, um, they can shoot cannons at enemies, and if you get hit, you lose it. We got the first, we got the first, um, now a lot of these end stages, like, with these, like, a lot of these tank stages are not gonna have checkpoints, so if you die once, you go back to the beginning, which is a nice challenge to have no checkpoints, as long as it's not, like, over, like, Bat over like over like design in terms of difficulty. So, like examples like Warriors Castle and Super Mario Land 2, like that stage is awful, but like um there's even one at the end of this game that's like that. Now you wanna get these uh just the stamp. I'll be grateful to do this in one try. So we got rid of all these, and we just gotta get up on that top of that. And we got the final green star, and that's why you want to keep that toward the ends. Toward the end, not the ends. Anyway, so, this is Boom Boom. This is another re- this is another th throwback to uh, an earlier Mario game. This is Mario 3. He also appears in Super Mario 3D Land, but uh, let's just say he has I like him more in this game. They're both equally. They're both kind of equal in terms of their appearances. Just this is on a console and Super Mario 3D Land's on a handheld. I just, the base of this game is that it's Super Mario 3D Land, but better. Now, it's a great thing I kept that, because if you can keep one of these, uh, cannon things and you take it to the flagpole, if you tap the flagpole with it, you get a 1-up. Now, I think Cage is definitely the easiest to top the flagpole with. And we just have to float our way to the top of the flagpole, and there we go. We got a 1-up for it also. That's the second Sprix he saved.
Anyway, so, we're gonna cut it off in this part of Super Mario 3D World, so, next time on Super Mario 3D World. We're gonna see what's up in World 3. See you guys then.